Hang the metal ruler on the table edge with most of it outside the table as shown. Press hard on the ruler. Vibrate the end in the air and pull the ruler inward. How does the pitch change when the ruler is being pulled inward? Chapter 7.2 Wave Nature of Sound 1. Sound is produced by vibrations. The vibrating cone of loudspeaker in the picture sets the foam balls and the air particles nearby into vibrations. Such mechanical vibrations within the audible frequency are sound. 2. Nature of sound A. Sound as a longitudinal wave. A candle is placed in front of a loudspeaker. Watch how the candle flame moves when the cone of the loudspeaker vibrates. The loudspeaker is now vibrating at over 50 Hz to produce audible sound. What does this tell us about sound waves? When a loudspeaker cone vibrates, it sets the air in front of it into vibration, producing a series of compressions and reflections, which travel forward. B. Sound as a mechanical wave. Sound is simply any mechanical vibration in the audible frequency. Sound may travel in solid and liquid but not in vacuum. And that's why astronauts talk through radio system. 3. Seeing sound. A microphone turns mechanical vibrations into electrical vibrations. Kinetic energy of sound is converted to electrical energy by electromagnetic induction. A cathode ray oscilloscope may display the sound wave which is converted to electrical vibration produced by a microphone. The waveform shown on the CRO resembles exactly the displacement time graph of air particle vibration due to the sound wave. Alternatively, a smartphone also has a microphone and a processor. Using suitable app, you may also use your smartphone to turn sound into a waveform. 4. Wave Phenomena of Sound Sound is a wave, so it exhibits all wave phenomena, especially diffraction and interference. A. Reflection of Sound Sound is reflected by a hard surface. The reflected sound is called echo. Bats and rails use echo for navigation. B. Refraction of sound. Refraction is a result of change in wave speed in different media. Sound travels faster in hydrogen, which has a smaller molar mass while sound travels slower in carbon dioxide, which has a larger molar mass. In figure 7.2n, the carbon dioxide balloon converges the sound waves to the microphone on the right because sound travels slower in carbon dioxide. C. Defraction of sound. Experiment 7b. Diffraction of sound. Let's find out the different diffractions of sound of different frequencies. We can use this apparatus to study the diffraction of sound. We should do this experiment in an open area in order to minimize reflection of sound waves from obstacles. First, 
Connect a loudspeaker to a signal generator. Attach a long paper tube to the loudspeaker with plasticine. Switch on the signal generator and set its frequency at 1 kilohertz. Cover one ear and walk across in front of the paper tube. Where can you hear a loud sound? We can also detect the sound using a microphone connected to a CRO. Move the microphone across in front of the paper tube. Pay attention to the change in amplitude of the waveform on the CRO. Locate the area where a loud sound is detected. Now repeat the steps with the signal generator set at 7 kHz. How does the area of a loud sound change when the frequency of sound is increased? The diffraction of sound decreases with the frequency of sound. In other words, sound diffracts less when frequency increases. High frequency sound is more directional. It diffracts less. And it is heard almost only right in front of the loudspeaker. D. Interference of sound. In this experiment, two loudspeakers are driven by the same signal generator. A microphone at the end of a meter rule is moved from the left to the right in front of the loudspeakers and detects alternate loud and soft sound. Connect a microphone to an oscilloscope. Move it across in front of the loudspeakers. Note any change in the amplitude of the waves on the oscilloscope. Sound is a wave and can demonstrate interference. We will use a signal generator to produce high-frequency signals into two identical loudspeakers, so that they give out the same frequency sound waves in phase. This experiment should be carried out in an open area to avoid the effects of reflected sounds. The loudspeakers are 0.5 meters apart, which is comparable to the wavelength of the wave. When we walk across in front of the loudspeaker, alternate loud sounds and soft sounds are heard. We can check with the sound level meter. When loud sounds are heard, the reading of the sound level meter also increases. Loud sounds and soft sounds are indeed the results of constructive interference and destructive interference of sound waves. We invite some students to stand at the positions where no sounds are heard. These positions form a few straight lines. These lines are actually the nodal lines. We decrease the output frequency of the signal generator to 1000 Hz. A decrease in the frequency will increase the wavelength. How do the number and separation of the nodal lines change? Loud sound is heard where constructive interference occurs. When sound waves arrive in phase, as phase difference equals a multiple of lambda. When the wavelength of sound is increased, the separation between the two consecutive maxima increases, same as interference of all other waves.
Example 4. Interference of sound. Similar to the interference of water wave and light wave, it is the path difference that determines the type of interference that may occur at any point in front of the coherent loudspeakers. Try chapter point four on the next page.